All right, for number seven. Number seven is we just did on the last couple, kind of break into pieces from four to five to six, where you have to bring it all together. It's arithmetic, they're telling you, great. So we're gonna use the arithmetic formula. Gotta know what the first term is. Gotta know what the common difference is. Now the common difference, as we can see in this one, is the second term minus the first term. When you calculate that magic number, that gives me negative five. Now, when I write the equation, the first term plus the common difference, that is the equation I want to use, the formula I want to use, to help me calculate the 30th term. So n is going to be 30. And when I go and punch this into my calculator, I'm going to do negative 10 minus 5 times 29. So negative 10 minus 5 times 29, I get negative 155. Not a lot of room there. Letter B, I'm doing the same thing, but in letter B, it says it's a geometric sequence. Got to know what the first term is. Got to know what the common ratio is. To calculate that common ratio, it's the second term divided by the first term. Common ratio is negative 2. I'm using my geometric formula. First term, because the common ratio is negative, I put that in parentheses. That's what I want to use. Now, n is 15. So, 1 times negative 2 to the 15 minus 1. So, what I want to go to my calculator and punch that in. 1 times negative 2, better use those parentheses. Positive, 1, sorry, 16,384. Letter C. It says arithmetic. So got to know what the first term is. That's 3.3. Got to know what the um, common difference is. If you need to calculate it, it's always the second term minus the first term. 1.1 should take you on. When it does appear to do that. 1.1 plus 4.4 is 5.5 and so on. Make the equation. First term plus the common difference times n minus 1. In this case, they want n to be 28. I want the 28th term. So in my calculator, I'm about to go and type in 3.3 plus 1.1 times 27. 3.3 plus 1.1 times 27. Turns out to be exactly 33. Letter D is geometric. Got to know the first term. Got to know the common ratio. Second term divided by the first term. Go to your calculator, reduce it down. You get one third, actually. Okay? So you're dividing by three. May not be obvious, but you are dividing by three. 45 to 15. That should also kind of tell you you're multiplying by a third. So for geometric, the first term times however you're moving, because it's a fraction, I like to put that in parentheses, one-third. We want to calculate the, what, seventh term. So one-third to the seven minus one, and what I'm going to plug into my calculator is one-third to the six. Um, and 135. 135 times one-third to the sixth power, and you get five over 27. Not a nice one, you'll have better ones on the quiz and test. Let's finish off number eight. Just tell me if it's arithmetic or geometric. Arithmetic are linear, increasing, decreasing. Geometric, you got the curves going on. My exponential curve and letter D is a combination of an increasing and decreasing exponential. It kind of gives me that trumpet pattern. Okay, got it's increasing, decreasing, increasing, decreasing, that alternating signs. That's an example of a geometric. Again, make sure Mathia through unit six is what you should be focusing on.